Hi, these comments are for CP, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of the lessons at otconlinetoeflcourse.com. And I think you're one of my TOEFL speaking boot camp students, right? And uh, I think you you chose the question, choose an event that has meaning for you. Explain how it has changed you. I think that's it. So let's listen to it. Uh, I also have the rubrics. You just saw them a minute ago. I have these right in front of me. So I'm going to listen to your response one time without making any comments. I'll give you my impressions after, and then I'll listen to it one more time, and then I can probably figure out a pretty accurate score from 0 to 30 points. And anybody watching at YouTube, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. You get notified of new videos. Okay, here we go. The most important event of my life is when I became a mother. My life since my son Austin has been born has changed completely. Before, I used to be very careless and irresponsible. In fact, I was so selfish that I used to put myself before anything else. But later priorities are changed. I started taking care of my son's health meals and sleeping time on a regular basis. I became more responsible. So I believe my life has completely evolved after I became a mother. And my son had filled an empty space of my life. So here's the best thing happened to me. The most important event. Okay, so this is not bad. I like how you're making an effort to vary your tone. Yes, that's what you want to do. It's important to do that. Now, my first impression is you still have a lot of delivery issues, so you have not solved all those things. I don't think you can make it in the three range just because of delivery. I think there's a few language use issues also. All right, let's go back one more time. Life is when I, the most important event of my life is when I became a mother. So you're saying the most important event of my life is when I became a mother. But that's not, that's too many pauses. You need to blend the words within those thought groups. So you might want, you might say, well, the most important part of my life is when I became a mother. So there really should only be one pause. I would pause right before that dependent clause. This is called thought groups, thought groups and blending. The TOEFL calls it pacing. And remember that you have a non human rater, you have kind of a, I think it's like a speech rater thing they do, and they also will listen to your, your practice test, and they'll pay attention to your grammar, vocabulary, and your pronunciation. My life since my son Austin has been born has changed completely. Okay. Before, I used to be very careless and irresponsible. In fact, I was so selfish that I used to put myself before anything else. Okay. But letter priorities are changed. I start. Now let's look at that. I'm gonna. I think you should say there have changed, because these priorities began changing uh, with the birth of your son, and maybe they continue to change up into the moment of speaking. So I think the present perfect tense works better than the simple present there. So shelf is that I used to put myself before anything else, but later priorities are changed. I later my priorities have changed. Started taking care of my son's health, meals, and sleeping time on a regular basis. Okay. I became more responsible. So you might say therefore and then say, I became more responsible. So that's another thing you can probably work on. You need to connect ideas together a bit better. If you look at, at the topic development for the two, uh, connection of ideas may be unclear. So I think you can prove in that area a little bit also. I believe my life has completely evolved after I become a mother. Yeah, after I became a mother, not become. So you want to use the past tense there. Because you became a mother in the past. That's a clear action that has a beginning and end in the past. 
and my son had filled an empty space of my life. So here's the best thing happened to me. The mo- he's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I would say it like that. My son is the best thing that has ever happened to me. The most important event of my life is... Okay, so I think that my score is pretty accurate. I'm, I'm going to put you in the two range, maybe around 2.5. So let's say 17 to 18 points out of 30. That's probably a a pretty good uh, estimation. So the good thing is, is I like how you're varying your intonation. That's good. So keep doing that. And you'll become more and more natural as you do that. But you still need to tackle the, the pacing issue. You just have way too many abrupt. You have too many kind of breaks from one word to the next. You need to blend the words within each of your thought groups. You can learn about that by going to pronunciation lessons 41 through 44. And you had some minor problems with uh, your language use, maybe with verb tenses. So maybe review the, what's the difference. Go to Google. What's the difference between the simple present and the present perfect verb tenses in English grammar? So you can take a look at that and get some get some uh, lessons in that area. All right. And thank you for doing the practice test.